I've been the, doing this 29 years. 29 years. 29 years. I started with the Topeka Capital, and then I picked the Lawrence Journal World up about 15 years ago, 1998. I started at the Capital in 1985, and then uh, I picked up the USA and also the Wall Street Journal. So I'm doing four papers now. Damn. And I do all the dealer throws, and I do all the newspaper machines, and all the throws in town. So Is it worth it? Well, it, it pays the bills. Yeah, that is true. And it's something to do. I was a school teacher before that. I was a big bad band director. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. My dad taught here at Ottawa High School for 15 years. He retired in 1975. He, uh, he was a teacher back in, he, we, we moved here in 1939, and he taught till 1975 here in Ottawa. Then I went out on my, after I graduated in Poria State, I went and taught. My first job was at Melbourne, Mirazine Valley over here, and then I taught two years at El Dorado. And I, when I had the job at El Dorado, I had a, about as big a job as my dad had here in Ottawa. But I was only like 23. <laughs> And then I got out of teaching for a year, and then I uh, taught three years over at Baser Linwood. And then I retired from teaching when I was about 30. <laughs> Pretty good, actually. Yeah. Retired at 30. And I started doing the papers in 1985 when I was 35 years old. And my plan right now is to go until I'm 70 at least. I'm, I'm seven years from it. I'm 63, so. Do, so, I, look, do I look 63? Not really. <laughs> Sometimes I feel it, but. How many uh, papers do you normally fold at night? Oh, close to 200 most times. I'm like, uh, how many per week or say? Oh, a week? Well, if you take 200 times. Yeah. Uh, so on the throws, uh, the throws average about so seven, that'd be 1,400 throws a week. And then I do all, on Wednesday, we get a ton more papers for the, the you know, for the inside stores and the, yeah. and the racks. So I probably get maybe 400 on, on Wednesday, probably. <laughs> but, not, you know, the throws are pretty constant, the same. But, how long does it take you to do well, like one night worth of papers? Uh, well, it, it takes me like the day I'm starting late, but I'll it's about four hours generally, three and a half to four. Two hundred. That's pretty good timing. And Sunday it takes about uh, five hours on the average, five and a half if, if the papers are real big. And I have to put the inserts on Sunday. That slows me down. There's a lot more bundles to deal with too. So. And the. Uh, did those um did the colors indicate a different type of paper like um a different company or city or? Well, I don't. Well, I mainly have blue wrappers. I do have some orange wrappers. I used to, when I was doing it, the Topeka Capital right now is being printed up the Kansas City Star in Kansas City, and the Lawrence Journal World is in charge of de delivering it for uh, to uh, Lawrence, Baldwin, and, and Ottawa. Huh. But when it was coming from uh, Ottawa, I had red bags for the uh, Topeka Capital, so it was a little easier to keep them separated. You know. Do uh does the um. Do they even use the Ottawa Herald down there anymore for that? No. No, they, their papers are all printed in Lawrence. The Lawrence Turner World prints their paper. So what's in the Ottawa Herald building itself? Well, they have all the people that write and everything like that, you know. It gets all scripted up in the, Auto, in the Herald, then it goes yeah, to Yeah, I think they do all the uh, writing, you know, there in the building, and the people that do the ads work there. There's no there's no printing pro uh, process there at all now. The machinery, they don't even use it anymore. I mean, the printing presses are shut down. I heard that they were trying to uh, rent cubicles out to other people. Yeah, I think that's one reason they're, they're trying to make money that way, you know. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, they, they just use the, the, the building you know, mostly for, you know, the writing and uh, the people, the writers that do all the, put the paper together. I think that somehow they probably send it electronically up to Lawrence, you know, you know how you can do everything electronically these days. Do the, are there any more paper boys like there used to be no, over with? No, no. That's over with. The only guy that does the papers here in town is uh, Steve Queen. He does all the newspaper machines and all the, you know, the inside stores. Yeah. And then uh, the papers are delivered by the, the mail people now. Wow. So everybody gets their paper in the mail. And probably soon, within the next decade or so, it's all going to just be digital since, like... Well, it could be, although I hope the print media is still around. I mean, I'm an old-fashioned guy. I like to read the old-fashioned way like this. Yeah. But... I don't know. It could it could eventually go that way. I've told people my job may be extinct in another five years. So <laughs> that's, that's the lunch lunch journal, right? And the, the papers have gotten a lot smaller, huh? There's, a, there's an ad on that. What, what's that one? What that's, this? That's the Capital Journal, right? Yeah. yeah. This is something about losing weight. I think or liposuction. <laughs> liposuction. <laughs> you know, people pay big money to probably stick those things on there. I mean, they've got to pay big money to have that stuck in the front yeah, page. That's like front front page front cover. Yeah, so they probably paid it paid a pretty penny to be able to do that. Well, yeah. I gotta count these out so I know how many I'm doing here. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's forty. One, two, three, four. There's forty-six so far. Forty-six right there. Yep. In this in this little pile. 
Well, after I fold these, it'll be 46. Wow. And then I've got I've got to do the Lawrence paper. Then the two main papers are the Lawrence and the Topeka Capital. Then the I just have like uh, seven USA throws and and eleven. Oh, USA Today. Yeah, and then eleven Wall Street journals. But I, I do put a lot more USAs in the newspaper machines in the stores, though. Since you've been in this uh, industry for a while, which um, out of all the ones that you do, which ones do you think are you know generally read the most? Well, I mean, in our town, and probably the I have my I have, I throw more Lawrence papers than I do anything else right now. Even in Ottawa. Yeah. <laughs> the Topeka Capital. When I started, not 29 years ago, on the Topeka Capital, I had about 280 throws uh, subscribers that actually took it at their home. And then I was had about a hundred rack papers, so I was doing about four hundred a day on the average just on the Topeka Capital. And then on Sunday I got like six hundred. Wow. For all the Sunday papers, you know, put in the stores and everything. So but it's gone down to the Capitol now is down to like I've got fifty three throws on that and I've only got twenty seven rack papers, so it's gone way down. But I, I picked the Lawrence paper up about fifteen years ago to augment my income, you know, and so when you said that Lawrence says Ottawa and Lawrence, the Ottawa Herald still exists, right, as a paper? Oh, yeah. The, La the Ottawa Herald is probably the number one paper in town because it's a local paper. I'm sure they've got at least 3,000 subscribers, probably. How many people live in this town? Well, I think there's about 12, five right now, 12,500. Really? Well, that's what, that's what they said uh, as two years ago. That was the population count. Huh. It, it is, it's varied between 10,000 and 12,500 probably for 100 years. It was this way back in the early 1900s. You know, they've tried to grow our town and... It doesn't really get that much bigger. I mean, I mean, it, it has a little growth spurt, and then it'll go back the other way for a while, and then it'll start going. If you actually, uh, I mean, I've actually kind of noticed this myself. If you um drive down just random streets in this town, you'll notice that many of the houses around here are just vacant. Yes. Well, there, there's a lot of rental houses too. This is the real good market for rental housing right now because no one can buy a home too much. Uh, even though the interest rates are real cheap here in the United States, I mean, you can get a house for three or four percent now, which is really good. But a lot of people just even can't come up with the money you know, for a down payment. So, and a lot of people lost their houses in the last ten years too for foreclosures. And so, it's, rental housing is at a premium. I read a. We've we've been in the rental housing business too for forty years. So, <laughs> you've been all over it. Yep. Uh, Thank you for giving me the interview, though. Sure. And yeah, last words. We learned a little bit about newspaper carriers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Have a good one. Okay.